The Suzuki V-Storm series is over 20 years old with the V-Storm 1050 coming in in 2002 and the 650 coming in in 2004. And today we are here with the Suzuki V-Storm 800 DE and uh, we are here to establish whether the V-Storm 800 has the capacity, the capability to whip up a storm in the middleweight adventure motorcycle segment. You know what? I already have a very clear answer to that in my head. But I will make you wait for the answer till the end of the video. Hi, my name is Kinshuk Datta and you are watching Car and & Bike. And in case you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Car & Bike YouTube channel. And if you liked this video, please do share it with your family and friends. The motorcycle has a typical tall ADV stance with an ADV beak and this particular champion yellow number 2 color makes the bike stand out on the road. It is a big motorcycle and while it may not have the charisma of a BMW or a Triumph or a Ducati, it does have solid presence and we like the way it looks. In typical Suzuki fashion, the build quality and the fit and finish on the bike are top notch. But the plastic knuckle guards feel quite flimsy and won't be of much help if you do take a tumble. And the sides of the engine bash plate is made of plastic when the bottom part is metal. A proper metal bash plate should be standard fitment on this bike. In terms of features, the motorcycle gets ride by wire, three riding modes, two step ABS that can be disconnected at the rear wheel when going off road, a four step traction control, and a dedicated gravel or G mode. If in the city, then the basic ride mode is the best, and if you want sharper throttle response, then the active mode is the one you should choose. The traction control and the ABS can be switched off if required. Then you also get the crisp 5 inch color TFT LCD display that offers all the information in a clear manner and has a decent interface. The good thing is that it is fully legible even under the harsh summer sun. The windshield has multiple adjustability options but one has to remove the bolts and adjust it according to your preference and that takes up significant time and effort. Now petrol heads may argue that the new V-Strom 800 is actually not a V because it gets a parallel twin engine. The older V-Strom models had a V-twin but the 800 DE gets a 776cc liquid cooled parallel twin engine which it shares with the Suzuki GSX 8S that's not on sale in India yet. Now the parallel twin engine on the V-Storm 800D gets bi-axial primary balancers which are positioned at a 90 degree angle to the crankshaft. Well, without getting too technical, what I meant to say is that this motorcycle, the engine, is easily one of the smoothest and the most refined units I've ever tested. You will hardly feel a buzz in the foot pegs and the handlebar. It is a job really well done. The motor is tractable and delivers power down the rev range and keeps a nice linear flow of torque across the rev range. The surge of pulling power in the bottom end and the mid range is quite likeable. Triple digit speeds can be reached in less time than it takes to complete this line and the V-Storm 800 DE can cruise at over 100 km per hour on the highway all day long and not miss a beat. The 6-speed gearbox with the bi-directional quick shifter makes switching gears an easy affair. If you plan to ride this motorcycle daily, then there are a few compromises that you'll have to live with. First, the parallel twin engine on this bike, it heats up really quickly, particularly in the hot Indian summer. If you ride this motorcycle in traffic, it is going to roast your legs. Second, the motorcycle weighs 232 kgs. Yes, it's quite a heavy bike and muscling it out of a parking lot or chugging along in bumper to bumper traffic is going to be very painful. And thirdly, the seat height of this motorcycle is 855 millimeters. So it's quite a tall seat and it may be a deterrent for shorter riders. Ah well, all of this is likely to be true for all ADVs. Where the V-Storm 800DE shines is the way it rides and handles. The Shava suspension is tuned soft and this is again one of those motorcycles that doesn't require you to slow down for a speed breaker. Regular road undulations 
simply won't be noticeable when you're astride on the 800TE. And despite the 21-inch wheel, the motorcycle loves to corner. It holds the line nicely and feels nimble and stable at the same time. There's decent grip from the Dundup tyres as well. The brakes are sharp and offer solid stopping power. But the flip side is that the front end dives a bit too much for my liking if I grab a fistful of brakes. Now Suzuki pegs the V-Strom 800DE as a dual sport machine and yes, it does really well on mild off-road trails and kacha roads. But we suggest that you stick to tarmac primarily because the motorcycle is just too heavy for hardcore off-roading. Like we said, at 232 kg, the motorcycle can be really a handful if you don't have the required skills. But otherwise, the motorcycle is quite responsive to rider inputs, especially when you're standing up and riding. It gives you that feel of solidity and more importantly, the chassis of the motorcycle is really on point. It makes the motorcycle feel much lighter than it actually is. If you're riding on mild trails or loose gravel, then the bike does its best in the gravel or G mode. It offers enough slip on the rear wheel with very subtle intervention so that you stay in control at all times. In order to make it a more potent off-road machine, you will require much better skills, better than mine for sure, and maybe a better set of tires. With 220mm of travel at both ends, one may feel that there's enough purchase for bigger impacts, but the suspension is soft and you might end up bottoming it. You will need to play with the suspension settings to get the state of tune right. The overall ergonomics of the motorcycle are really comfy, with a tall stance, upright perch and a wide handlebar. Whether you're riding seated or standing up, the bike feels under control at all times. The biggest miss is that the V-Strom 800DE comes with tubed tyres and doesn't even offer tubeless rims as an option. That may be a deterrent for riders who frequently go on long distance rides because the puncture is not a question of if but of when, especially on Indian roads. The Suzuki V-Strom 800DE is priced at 10 lakh 30,000 rupees X showroom and as it stands today, it directly goes up against the Honda XL750 Transalp which is priced at 11 lakh rupees. Like I said in the beginning of my video, the Suzuki V-Strom 800DE, whether it has the goods to whip up a storm in the segment and yes, the clear answer is absolutely yes. It's a fantastic machine and it ticks off all the right boxes like great performance, decent set of features, comfy ergonomics and it's a good motorcycle to have in case you find the Ducati Multistrada V2, BMW F850 GS and the Triumph Tiger 900 too expensive and too intimidating. The V-Strom 800D, it's a well-built motorcycle, looks good and puts a smile every time you ride it. The one glaring miss is the fact that it gets tube type tires and you don't expect that from a motorcycle that costs well over 10 lakh rupees. But otherwise, it's a fantastic machine and if you're in the market to look for a middleweight adventure motorcycle, then the V-Strom 800D should be quite high up in your consideration list. If you like this video, please do share it with your family and friends and please do not forget to click on the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the latest updates from Car and Bike.